Alright, welcome everyone, we're Semblance of Sanity, I'm Caleb, I'm Jacob, and we're here for Hunter Hunter, Hunter, Hunter episode 109. 109, The Invasion's Tomorrow, <laughs> Yes, and, and Prom's <laughs> Tomorrow, and we just got an awesome development with Meruem, aka oh my King, God, yes. and the Gungi Master, aka Kamugi. One of the greatest so, Hunter Hunter episodes we've ever seen was, yeah, was my, the probably last one. My, my personal favorite. Yeah, like it, that, was, that it was it was really good. Was really, the really good. the stuff also with the royal guard mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. built up a oh, lot yeah. of them in a in a subtle way, mm -hmm. but more so specifically like Shia, Shia LaBeouf's character, mm -hmm. just yep. really and really we will interesting keep saying stuff. That. Sorry, not sorry. Well, yeah, we don't need to remind them, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, but <laughs> the the big thing is that the group has essentially, you know formed up mm -hmm. and they're yeah. ready and they're just going over strategy mm -hmm. now uh melioron seems to be a really good combo initiator for not only gone now but for knuckle sure and given that uh nov is not going to be involved in this mm -hmm. whole thing we might see a little bit of a change in like overall strategy or right. maybe we'll get to see a little bit more of a of a real-time kind of perspective of what the strategy will be because sure. when they did it in the last episode, they kind of just showed them looking at a map and didn't actually right, right, tell right. us what they were going to do. Well, yeah, I mean, the the, the plan's always been shifting because, again, you know, it's it's real life. The, the plans change, you know. Yep, yep. It doesn't stay static. Yeah, so, static. Uh, um, uh, yeah, looking, to see, looking forward to seeing if they uh, alter the plan in any way mm -hmm. and we get to know... Uh, exactly how the plan right. was altered. Maybe w anything that might or might not happen with Palm, you know, see how yes. she handles her whole situation. Yeah, because it's totally a cliffhanger right now as to what happened to her. Yeah. Um, well, and how she's going to respond to it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she yeah. could be dead, dude. She could, she could already be dead. But I think because they haven't shown things with her yet, she's alive. But the question is, like, in what state or in what kind of a, like... Like, is she in a good place, a bad place? That's that's more up in the air. Um, also, when Netero... Like, Netero yeah. has been chilling, <laughs> or at least my charging up his Ren, probably, yeah, yeah. like, all this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, he, he's... like he, uh, I mean, I love knows? the concept, you know? Like, there's no such thing as overkill, right? Right, right. <laughs> but, yeah. Good grief. Um, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to getting into the craziness. So without further ado, guys, let's get into this. All right, guys, we're going to start the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. Oh, screw this eagle. <laughs> and it's paste. Yep. Oh, that reminds me of like a peanuts strip. <gasps> like, <gasps> wow, yeah, oh. <laughs> oh boy. You just try again. You just go away. I love I, I remember I remember if it was like like uh like a specific person on the Discord or just a whole group of them that were like Whenever you said that, like, Shoot is a Pokemon trainer, we just died of laughter. I'm like, I know, right? Like, he is. But if you think about that ability, could be pretty useful for, like, leverage yeah. against Camaro. Oh, yeah. Ooh, taking stock. Yep. Calm before the storm. Yeah. 
Oh, he go go. <laughs> Why doesn't he have hands? Is that just his tentacles? <laughs> of course. Wow. Okay, good. They're going to talk about what their plan is. Great. Right. All right. Gotcha. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah. That's that's some somewhere he could be really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> Kekakudori. <laughs> right. <laughs> he would know as an assassin, yeah. Right. <gasps> or at the very least, the unexpected can only happen when you're expecting something. Right. But in this, we can't wait. Right. Yep. Yep. You hear that, Gon? That's not foreshadowing at all. Mm-hmm. That's brilliant. Jeez. Right. Right. Yep. yep. Sure. Good. Yeah. <laughs> right. Or she has it turned off. Mm hmm Or on for a brief second, then it's off. Right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. See, yes, it was. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Oh nope, Shia LaBeouf. I almost got me there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, don't make false assumptions. Oh. Nice. Oh wow, that's a awesome. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> Huh. Yo. Okay. That is a pretty good... Oh. King, yeah. Those are some good deductions. They're gonna think it's the Gungi girl. <laughs> or Kamugi. We know her name now. <gasps> wow. Wow. Sometimes okay. the, the intelligence of characters in this uh -huh. show is like, whoa, okay. Right. 
right. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Cono Diego da. Wow. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Focusing on the kid. Holy they randomly crap. show like Zeno in the background. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. Right, and that's their that's their gambit to make them uh worried about yep, mm -hmm. yep, using the celebration as cover. Awesome. Right. So stay close. <laughs> yeah, that would be their worst nightmare. Right. Uh -huh. Right. I recommend that it be me. <laughs> Inferring it by saying his. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> and he won't get emotionally compromised by right. the task at hand. Right. The, the little twitch of Pito's ear. Whoa. All right. Or they're in the portals. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what they said they were going to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, like, the fact that they would all mm -hmm. go in at the same time is brilliant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Curious how he says the royal guard won't let that happen. Hmm. They won't let the king accept defeat. That sounds kind of what like Shia LaBeouf's, you know. Sure. Ideology but it could also just is. be that he knows more about the royal guard than the king. True. Cool. Okay. So he stayed outside using Zets to make sure that everything remained, you know, according to sure. plan. Yep. Cool. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they oh. can't go back out to the entrance? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
Right. Gotcha. Basically saying, oh. Hmm. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Dang. Risky either way. <gasps> He's back! Okay. Right. Good. Whoa. Um... His hair's different. Is that blonde or white? It's like white. Well, Morel's is white. Yeah, it's white, yeah. He sounds tired. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Oh, this is getting heavy, guys. Mm hmm. Two kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> that nervous laugh. That's true. That's wow. cool. Showing the ragged uh -huh, wear uh -huh. underneath his eyes. Wow. Okay. But then, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. But that's the thing, though. If there comes, there's a time where there's a threat to Kamugi and the king at the same time, she has to choose. Right. Well, and she'll choose the king, obviously. Right. But that's the thing. Right. Either way, she's choosing. Right. I just got a telescope. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, comparing them to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. To creatures. Whoa. Oh, what the heck? Okay. What is... It's like some kind of hypnosis. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, dealing with five million people, even with an army, would be problematic. Yeah. If you start, like, killing them or whatever. Holy crap. Yeah. Madhouse did this, right? No. Or, oh, I can't remember. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Well, we'll check after the episode. Mm hmm. Jeez. Yep. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, that imagery is so dark. Yeah. This Holy is a slaughter. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Ah, gotcha. So basically, they can potentially keep collateral damage low. 
Yeah. Or zero. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, the countdown. Mm -hmm. All right. Got a boys here. Whoa. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's getting internally into, like, each of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Not well a very said. helpful thing to think about before a... Yeah. See? Yep. yep. I mean, I mean, it's been shown that he does. Yep. Well, and the five million people there. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Have we seen that yet? I don't know if we I have. I don't know if we have. That's right. Morrill's been pushing himself. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um. Yeah. Because that's the ultimate goal. And he's going to be fighting uh, Shia LaBeouf on his Alone. own. Wow. Oh, boy. The way his voice is just... Quivering. Ragged. Yep. Practicing holding his breath. Right, yes. Jeez. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh. That's right. Yes. <laughs> I just realized I really don't want Incalgo to die. I, I really, really don't. I really don't either. But he probably will. <laughs> Tomorrow will be my birthday. Oh. 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 That is terrifying. That though. is really terrifying. Oh. The king's not there. Well, it's the... Um, right. You know, mm -hmm. the ceremony. Oh. Yeah, you can't go, can't go on what you are. It's who you are. Whoa. Dang. All right, Hunter okay, Hunter music. Here, here we, we go. go. Oh, oh, man. They're going into the final room mm -hmm. to where they can't go out unless they're going into the palace. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. 
I am like, my hands are sweating, yeah. and I'm like, oh yeah, me too, Woo! me too. This is. I'm ready. This is gonna be. This is gonna this be. Is going to be nuts. The thing I'm. The thing I'm most scared about is people getting scared, because yeah. Nov is the only one that's actually experienced the aura of other uh, than gone and kill other than gone and kill i meant of the uh of the pro hunters right um yeah and and we don't know what will happen to shoot for instance you know who is a known coward essentially Mm -hmm. um i I feel like morel is the one that has like the most likelihood of dying just because he has like that's probably the hardest fight right that's what they set up here but at the same time morel's Morel's been through some stuff, you know, yeah. like, like, so, I don't know. Seriously. I mean, nothing like this, but. Oh, the game is set. The pieces are moving. Yeah. And, or, uh, the pieces are about to move. Yeah. The first move will be made. Right, right. They go from the literal game to yeah. now the yeah. much scarier game. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 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 Okay, so. Um, everything's moving. Like, it's happening. Yeah. yeah. It's happening. Yeah. Um, and, okay, starting with that whole bit of Meroem calling Neferpito, or Necopito, yeah, yeah. up and being like, so, you knew about it. Why didn't you do anything. do anything? She's like, well, it wasn't you. It wasn't a threat to you. So, everything's good, because that's all that matters. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah. Like already, we now have a very specific reason as to how things can go wrong for the Chimera ants. Is that um, the king is currently um, overseeing the mm-hmm. selection, the yep. ceremony of all that, and uh, Nefropito is in the perfect place to be able to sense all the things. Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. Yep. And. Uh, Shia LaBeouf is being uh, a beautiful butterfly, a transcendent That's being, right. if you will, yeah. and yeah. utilizing a very terrifying technique. But very fitting, I feel like, with his design. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Especially if he is the bard of the group. like Right. And and he is also keeping a secret close watch on the king. Yeah. Now, uh, Yuppie is, uh, is TBD in terms of where he is right. placed uh-huh. currently. Well, so things yeah. things seem like the main the main way things are going to go well for the the, the protagonists, mm-hmm. the hunters, is that Neferpito is going to basically like realize like like first that something's going on. And yeah, yeah. probably going to weigh the threats mm-hmm. to right. um right. both Kamugi and the king uh-huh. instantly and go to the king. Sure. Like but okay. Crazy idea. Yeah. What if um, she basically determines the king's totally safe, but there is a threat to Kamugi. So she ends up going to Kamugi because of that. Mm-hmm. They end up basically tracing ne- Nekopito's N mm-hmm. to get to the king, but the king's not there. Right. And it's well, just her, and it throws off the plan because now basically things aren't in sync, right? That You know, they, they, they are going on bad data. Well, remember, the... The group mm-hmm. that we like having the gates yeah. there in the yeah. in the little boxes, mm-hmm. they are not going for the king. Remember, they're trying to get the royal guard away uh, right. from yeah, the king. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. of course they're going to be tracing, you know, back to yes. the yes. to the end of, of Neferpito and stuff. Sure, but, I mean, but yeah. like mm-hmm. if they go there and find that the king's not there, they're like, all right, we already have one of them separated from the from the king. Uh, that's, that's awesome. That's true. That's true. Yeah. 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 If anything, I feel like the real problem in the Chimera Ant strategy is communication. There's no way that they can have, like, wait, wait, we don't know this. Uh, we could end up seeing some of, one of them having some kind of ability to where they can communicate across large right. distances. Because they did, I forget, did they establish that the Chimera Ants don't use telepathy anymore? 
I think that was a old queen thing. So right, yeah, it yeah. hasn't been a it hasn't yeah, been a yeah. point of, of reference. At right, any, if it was, you'd think they'd now. use that because that's just generally an easier mode of communication. If right, they have it. Right. Also, I don't think that that's really as big of a problem because in terms of the speed of someone like Neferpito, mm -hmm. this area that they're in is not that big. Yeah, yeah. Like so we saw so, how how quick her legs bulged up and how fast she just went from way over there to right here and yeah. her arms off. You know. Yeah. My my thing is more. So um, being able to communicate orders, um, you know, across these distances in in the case that the chimera ants aren't fully prepared, because in the way that I think that that's really the one advantage that the uh, that the hunters have mm -hmm. is that they have contingency plans and yes. like okay, if this scenario right. happens, then we do this, and if this right. scenario happens, we do this. They have right. those things in plan. They're the ones. They're the one making the ambush, so they have they have the proactive yeah, tempo. They, exactly know? right. Oh, you could say that, like in the game of Go or in Gungi, uh -huh. they have sente. They have, right, they right. have tempo. So yeah. yeah, this is all basically just going to be a thing of but if their the rhythm gets be broken. Able to, and th and that's that's yeah, the big yeah. that's the big thing that I could see being an issue if Neferpito did go say to help Kamugi mm -hmm. and they end up because okay yeah they have Neferpito sectioned off you know separated from the king right and it's that that's the equivalent of taking a piece right sure. and a very important piece right but then they lose momentum right and then it's like would would the king mm -hmm. and the other two be able to make up for that especially if the king is uber pissed that. He thinks Kamugi might be in danger because Neferpito went to go protect Kamugi, and now Neferpito is alone with Kamugi against all the attackers. Yeah, like the main thing that with the king is, I don't really worry as much about what the king will do currently because oh, yeah. we don't know what Netero's. Um, that's true. Netero's, that's true. Yep. Netero's yep. initial yep. first mm -hmm. move is going to be. We yeah. know. We know essentially that he's going to be going after. The king, right? But Once we don't the know king how. Is isolated, right. Ideally, yeah. Right. Yeah. But we don't know how. We don't know mm -hmm. like what's going to be his entrance. What like all, all that kind of right. stuff. And we also don't know like whether or not he's going to be coming in with two people. You know, him and his partner, probably right. Zeno, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, some other kind of setup where he's going to be going in like really fast, a la Neferpito. Right, and right. And his buddy's going to be like set up in like an ambush spot somewhere, uh -huh. or yeah. who, who knows. So he's just gonna use all that Ren that he's built up to just jump straight from where he is all the way to the palace. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, the, <laughs> the, the cool thing that they did this episode that I, I wanted to kind of pull attention mm -hmm. to was each character having a moment of introspection you know, oh, basically, yeah. like everyone having their Knuckle, little shoot, like Nov, everyone, Morel, Kiltwa, gone, yeah, 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 Ekalgo, even, yeah, yeah, and, and Melioran, yeah, yeah. So, so that little moment of them basically, like, you know, realizing, like, okay, we've got this, mm -hmm. we can do this, or like apologizing, like Nov and being like, right, I'm sorry, I, I can't, yeah. I can't go, and I can't bring myself to do it, and like, okay. Fear, like, and, like, stress and everything causing people's hair to go white, that is a very real thing. But usually it doesn't happen that fast. So if there is some sort of crazy explanation behind it that is, like, more of an in-world thing, like mechanic or whatever, cool. But if not, that is a great way to show just how much this affected him. Because it's been, you know, less than ten days. I don't know how, how many days exactly. Not that many. A very short amount of time. I would say it was, it was, it was less than a week. It was yeah, like yeah, five yeah. days or something. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> one one way to look at it is remember when they showcase how his glasses the the, the shine mm -hmm. pulled back and yeah, they show yeah. the raggedness under his eyes and just the flat pupils. Yeah, yeah. I think what mm -hmm. they were also trying to show that in the same way as someone um, who is marred and mm -hmm. gripped by fear, yeah, is not living. Mm -hmm. What is what is the word that defines not living? Dying. Right and a sign of aging or dying right. is white hair. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not necessarily that he's dying or anything. Right, right. But it's just another way to show it affected him to the point to which his own maybe aura or his own life force, if anything, sure. was just fading. And that's uh -huh. a kind of thing that um, Shoot was noticing with Killua. And I really think that was a, a twist that yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, there's a couple explanations as mm -hmm. to why Kilwa is fading. Right. But 
It could be the whole thing of him saying, after this is done, then I'm I'm going to leave gone. No, I don't. But I don't think that's. What I, it I is hope anymore. Kill is not still sticking to that. No, 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 no. I, I think we've I think we've moved on from that. I, I think that the the main thing that it is here is that he's realizing the finality of this. Uh, yes, in absolutely. That he he realizes in the same way Calgo realizes how he's going to be reborn mm-hmm. from this. Oh, Killua yeah. realizes that he very well could die from this because remember oh, how many things sure. have changed for Killua. Mm-hmm. He is no longer subdued by his brother's yeah. um, influence right. and or yep. like programming and whatever or that was the yeah. the thing in his the, head. Yeah, the actual needle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is not getting a second chance at this. He is not able to run away. He's not able to do the Killua things that yeah. would have made sense. Right. He's not the, able to make this you know, be a perfect assassination. Right. Yeah. So yeah. He, he knows that he's going to have to make some tough decisions and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I think that, that that awareness is just weighing on him. Yeah. And he can't be... He can't be looking at Gon even as the sun, as the well, shining uh-huh, beacon, and being uh-huh. like, ah, you will be my strength in this situation. He knows that he can look to Gon and be like, ah, Gon's getting fired up. Ah, I right. will too. I'm going to use my yep. new Kanmuru technique. I'm like, yeah. okay, did we see that? I I, I don't I, know. Maybe. Because like, there was the stuff that happened with the, the little couple, Chimera ants, you know? The, uh, right, that's but true. But I don't yeah. know if his technique was shown there or not. Right, and if so... Either way. ...how it would most effectively be used in a fight like this. Right, he, um, he is playing support, as he said. Yeah, yeah which, is, which, which is great. Yeah. I love that he... CC, bro. Uh-huh, yep. CC. yeah. CC. It's... it's <laughs> being DPS is not necessarily the best thing. No. You know, uh, no. leave, leave that to gone. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> but one of the things also that... They, they might not go into this because I, I get the feeling that Kilwa is... At the same time, very like like you said, he's very happy that Gon's getting fired up. Right. But it might also be something where this ends up being a reverse of the birth for what the birth is for Akago. It might be kind of a birth of a new Gon or a death of the old Gon that's the sun and too bright to look at. Because he is going to be yeah. coming here with anger, with pain, with hate, and intent to kill. Yeah. And you it's know, it's something that I think is helpful. I think like, that Kilwa is aware enough mm-hmm. that Gon is doing this to get vengeance for Kite. Yeah. The thing is, is that we know, as kind of the the meta viewer of the whole mm-hmm. story, in that Gon's desire of what he said he wants... Of saving Kite, yeah. Saving Kite, and did he say something like changing him back, or like... Or getting kite back, or getting or kite like back, that. or something, yeah. freeing that's, him from her strings, or something that's, like that. That's not happening. Like, l- yeah, prob- probably, that's not. Not happening. probably not. Like, this is I the, mean, this if it is, does, then yeah, you have a dead body. Like, well, you know, yeah, like or or whatever. Yeah. But and like, I'd say that's actually a pretty good deal. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But oh. um, no, I I don't mm-hmm. think that's yeah. That's, yeah. that's going to be it. So, and then, of course, there's there's Knuckle asking the big question. Yes. Spot on of, mm-hmm. I mean, the king could have a heart, too. So He's like, I hope he does. Yeah, yeah. So, and they mention the whole thing of if you hesitate, you're going to die. Right. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing two deaths on the human side, minimum. Yeah. Minimum. I hope I'm not a lot counting. Of I'm I not counting Melioron or Ikalgo because they're not actually humans, even though they're on the human side. Right, right, right. I, I, I think that they are in the highest likelihood to die. Gotcha. And that's the thing that makes I me hope sad. Ikalgo doesn't. I, I die, actually though, like in... came like really close to crying for a second there because I realized uh-huh. yeah. Ikalgo is swiftly becoming one of my favorite like little side characters in this yeah. story. And even though Hunter Hunter likes to do you know not play like a straight game, yeah. Sudden side character development equals horrible tragic death most of the time. Most of the time. So and you know, I, and I, of course I, Hunter I, yeah. Hunter doesn't do what's expected, but they could do that here. But Mel, uh, not Meliorn, uh, but Ikalgo is the only one going off on his own in the whole yeah. the whole plan. And I'm glad about that because that's where he'll be safest. Like, but at the same yeah. time, they could have him do something where he does some sort of noble sacrifice to save Palm or something or like something, that. Yeah, you know, like uh, at least at least they said that once he if he if he is able to rescue Palm, they both just leave. 
Right. Like, I hope he sticks to that. But like, oh, yeah. <sighs> and then Morel, Morel yeah. realizing like ah, I'm this resigning is, myself to my fate. It's yep, easier this, this way. Is, this I'm is, only at forty percent or thirty five percent. Right. So and, and I hope that's like thirty five percent drained, not thirty five percent left. But it might be thirty five. I think it's thirty five percent left. Yeah. And trying to go up. He said against, one to a hundred. So yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like he didn't say what one in hundred was. So I don't know. But either way, <laughs> that's really bad because he's going up against. It's a percent thing, Jacob. So. Okay. It's thirty five percent. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways. Going up against Shia LaBeouf alone. Mm-hmm. What would be really cool what would be really cool because it was Shia LaBeouf's uh we, we confirmed it was Shia LaBeouf's end that he sensed mm-hmm. um when yeah. Nov entered the palace to infiltrate it. I think it would be very cool to have I don't think Nov will do this. Mm-hmm. I think I think the 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 mental trauma of it oh. hit him, but him coming in because he has the you know the view of things uh-huh. to save uh, Morel and um, it's 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 futile. It'll end up being futile. Maybe but, yeah, but but oh. I, I could see it being the thing mm-hmm. that where yep yeah it, it yep yeah. yep also oh boy. also. Um, they did a little thing where they had basically the good guys expositing about their plan and mm-hmm. the bad guys basically doing the mirrored expositing about right. mm-hmm. the enemy's plan and then kind of going back and forth. Which is great to see, like, to basically reaffirm the perspectives that both sides have about the other the other side. The fact that they're like, right. why did Neferpito drop her N all of a sudden? Right. It's a know. clever way also to not draw it out, but... Um, to to get us all on the same page right because i yeah. think that i think that yeah. hunter hunter does have little moments here where they'll be like all right this is exposition that's blended with getting everyone up to speed but it's mm-hmm. also a little bit of padding sure. just to just to kind of make sure that everything's you know on, we're right on track yeah because you don't want you don't want people to be confused going into the big climax like right you want you want it to be very clear be like all right this mm-hmm. is what we're doing so that way you can just focus on execution. Right. I'm just glad they did it in this episode rather than the previous episode because in the previous episode they did have them going over strategy, but they didn't actually expose it much as uh, to right. yes. what the strategy was. Yeah. They kept that centered around character-focused motivations, mm-hmm. like yep. Gone yep. being the one that would want to save Palm, for instance. Sure. Or but he has no plan in actually how to do that. Right. And that would end up either mm-hmm. leading to his death or... Or others' deaths because he's deviating yeah. from the plan. Mm-hmm. And I wanted the reason why I wanted to bring that up was because when they exited the portal in you know point A, B, or C, whichever one they did, um, outside the palace, uh, Gon was like palm, and I was like, frick, like like oh. like basically like Gon. Oh. We yeah. specifically yeah. Uh-huh. said like oh boy. I think if anything, he's just realizing that. Um, like it's not that he's actually going to be going for Palm. Mm-hmm. It's that he's realizing Palm never contacted them because now it's ten minutes until the oh, attack. Yeah. So he's basically saying, "Palm, I hope you're okay," or "Palm, like right. please be okay," or yeah. "Palm, I miss you." Like mm-hmm. I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry we yeah. we couldn't I, help you. You know, you you're you're probably dead or you're you know probably being tortured. That's the other thing that is really crazy. Let's go on the spectrum of Palm situation oh. to good to bad. Good, she's still alive, and she's unable to communicate because she's in the process right. of making things work. And she's even better, bring in some new maybe she caught a glance of one of the royal guards. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. Worst situation. Worst situation Neko is... Pito with, with, you know, yeah. Yeah, and she yeah. is currently giving up everything. That is right. the worst possible situation. When we mm-hmm. go more towards the middle, it's that she's dead, but like... She mm-hmm. hasn't given up anything, and or they're not right. really able to determine whether or not she is a threat or mm-hmm. just one of the people Actually, that uh, Bizef brought in. That's a good point. I think, okay. If they had Palm still, mm-hmm. she would actually be, I think, the, an even better combo with Melioron than anyone else. Because it wouldn't require much time. He would just sneak her in there so that she can get a look at everybody. Sneak her out. If they could do that in 60 seconds, right? And then she's like, okay, all right, now I'll sit in the room and just, you know, know where everyone is. Yeah, like, that's one of those things where they couldn't have predicted Melioron, so yeah. they didn't have her there. Right. But yeah. this is yeah. also a kind of thing where um, 
I do want to say Tagashi mm-hmm. brilliantly sidestepped a plot hole then. Because if she was a part of the group going in, Melioron would have to be used with her because these guys are so smart and stuff. And then it probably would have made right whatever's coming uh-huh. up next a lot, a lot easier. easier. Yeah, yeah. So, so I like <sighs> that her going in was her own thing because yeah. it mm-hmm. helps us kind of like her character right because <laughs> because like everything that more. she's done has been so dependent on other characters whether she's obsessed with nov or obsessed with gone or whatever so yeah. having her show some agency yes really does go a long way into to, making, to making character us like yeah, yeah yeah exactly so but you're you you've gone to a great point like, that would have been an that, insane that would be combo so good because then they're just like all right we know where all of them are we can spy on them we, yeah okay cool all right now let's do a proper assassination we can pick them off one by one we can like now you know that yes that's 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 very true I, I think it would have um it would have been difficult for them to like maybe plan their strategy yeah, out yeah, like it, uh-huh it perfectly, basically but... it basically would have just made it so that they could be more fine-tuned with their planning yes but they might not have been able to because of time constraints or you know all, all sorts of other variables that would come yeah. into play I, but... I do think though then they would have had to find a way for palm to communicate movements to them right and did they have a plan for that even like beyond um i think it would have just been like over cell phones or something and the chimera ants would have known that it was happening but they would not have been able to know what was being communicated sure Uh, or or that they're not necessarily as concerned with knowing um where they are after they breach out of the portals it's just when right before they breach out of the portals if we know exactly right. where they are, we can predict yeah. their movements. Yeah, and we, we can we can observe them beforehand and know and their patterns and everything. And mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, this is uh-huh. totally an RTS. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. this yeah. whole thing is totally an RTS. This is Tagashi basically being a a, a an RTS god and mm-hmm. just controlling all the puppets and stuff and being like, now if this character is here, uh-huh. what makes sense for them to do here? And right. and since and since Tagashi is so much in love with discovery based storytelling. Mm-hmm. This that game. means that all the plans are boned. Right. Basically, like, here's the thing I, I really I really mm-hmm. love about the way this is building up, is that I really don't care as much what the result is. There's specific you just characters. See how it gets there. No, there's just specific characters I want to just follow. I want to mm-hmm. know exactly what the sure. king is doing right. from yep. here yep. on out mm-hmm. all the way. Because I, I feel like the the king and Kamugi specifically are mm-hmm. kind of the Yeah. Yeah. The soul uh-huh. of this arc. Right. I really want to know what like Gon's going to do. Sure. Like I Is really, Knuckle gonna have trouble really like actually killing the Chimera ants, you know? Yeah. Like yeah, things exactly. like that. What is Morel going to actually be able to hold his own? Is Nob gonna stay in the portals? You know, yeah. all these Are we going to get sudden here? character development for Yuki? Right. Like there's all these things yeah. that are just variables that are mm-hmm. out there and they're going to be basically moving. Yeah. All you know, moving. And I think that for the most part, it won't be it won't be too crazy. But I feel like it's all going to happen so just just chaotically mm-hmm. that like like specifically the variables that we don't know about mm-hmm. are just going to like add even yeah. more craziness yeah. to it. Like I'm really like like kind of kind of weirded out by the fact that Netero hasn't communicated. Uh huh. Up until this point, like, well, that just goes to show that he probably sees what they're doing as just another sacrifice. Possibly. Well, well, here's like, the thing. Here's like, the thing, Jacob. That was already discussed. Mm-hmm. They know the people yeah. that are all in uh-huh. this room. They know that like, they're all they're pawns. all pawns. They're all yeah. essentially there to play play a part. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is a sick joke. They're all there to kite the uh, the royal guard. Uh-huh. Yep. That's yeah. That's their only goal. Yep. Yep. Wow. Right. I mean, hey, hey, one pawn, not that big of a deal. A whole line of pawns encroaching on enemy territory, on on the on the back end of enemy territory, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. So any you know, one of them could end up being a queen. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just like the Camarians. <laughs> but um I know not really but Yeah, 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 yeah um, exactly. Um uh, there was a there was a little mm-hmm. bit where they showed um kind of a kind of a I don't really know how to describe it kind of a kind of a moment with Nav 
where he's he was kind of you know talking all kind of tired mm-hmm. and stuff but it seemed like like what hmm. was it when he first showed up and he's like okay i'm gonna do this and they were like just don't get don't do anything risky and he's like i'm more terrified of any, than any of you or like yeah it was kind of kind of around there but it, it, it seemed like it seemed like he was kind of looking at all these others and they're like he's like uh-huh. they don't know this is right okay okay and and you see where i'm okay. going with this uh-huh, basically uh-huh. like uh-huh like so uh-huh. okay craziest possible like whack way out there mm-hmm. theory nov goes saruman describe what you mean by that so the in lord of the rings the whole idea with why saruman turned was that he saw he he was so focused on the idea of power right and that power you need power to beat power and then he basically looked at the enemy and he said we cannot beat that no amount of power no amount of power can beat that he's right it's just too much right and 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 he was right yeah and he was right and because of that he sided with them yeah i don't think nav is going to side with them i don't think so either yeah but if for some reason the 0.01% chance or whatever that it happened and it happened that would be one of the most mind-blowing crazy insane things right ever. i think i think that's why like if that's even on the mm-hmm. table that's why he's not going to be involved in anything is that he just can't trust himself in that instance there but what i feel like happened was that there was a part of him that held off trying to convince them to be afraid right and that he held yeah. himself in check mm-hmm. and just his being there right was un- like his own courage all the courage he could mm-hmm. muster was to go into there and being like yep. i'll do what i can to help mm-hmm. from the perimeter yep. and yet right i feel like because he was off i mean of course but of course but i feel like nov's reaction is not some like outlier because nov has never experienced you know true fear or mm-hmm. power that's you know that great or what have you i feel like morel's not going to be the kind of person to you know get scared or anything because one he was the guy that was like that was, ah, or yeah, a strength talking doesn't smack to kill yeah, yeah or yeah. it does, doesn't matter in terms of right. the uh the mm-hmm. you know who's going to win in a fight um but mm-hmm. but we have other characters um who I'm, I'm more worried about them becoming emotionally compromised. Like like Melioron, let's say. Yeah. Melioron mm-hmm. has one of the most powerful right. like support tactical mm-hmm. abilities of the whole group here. Yep. And all it really takes is for him to just... Yeah, even if he just loses his cool. For right, a right. Bit. And, and the thing is, it's not losing his cool and doing something that he shouldn't. It's just losing his cool. Yeah. Because at the very least, it'll make it so he can't hold his breath as, as long, long because he's starting to panic, right? Yeah. And he might just seize up and, like, say, be frozen in one place and then yep. they're not moving. It's like, come on, come on, we yep. got to go. And then there's the whole thing with Knuckle potentially hesitating mm-hmm. because he's yep. not, yep. he's kind yep. of a pacifist. Yep. He's not the kind of person who could look at these. Mm-hmm ants and be like you're vermin you need to be exterminated right he's like actively in here to try and maybe see if there's an alternative way to yeah why do we have to be an extermination squad it's and, like oh no and that, yeah oh, but, no, but at least knuckle, but no. at least his best ability is something that is a non-lethal long-term cc like he's he, like if he pulls this off it's basically it's a, a feeble mind on one of those people yeah yeah it's i know a lot of time but, but that yeah but that's a lot of time and this doesn't really work but okay one other crazy crack theory crazy that I crack have that, that will not come true, but if it did, that would be just crazy. Okay. So, one of the things that I thought was interesting was that we did not see Shia LaBeouf's response in this episode to the events of last episode. That basically the king was going in to kill Kamugi, and then he ended up saving her from the eagle. Well, right? I don't think he knows. Yeah, yeah, it might just be that he doesn't know, right? But yeah. if so, that's the only one... person that knew was uh, Neferpito. Uh, right. Yeah, that's what that's what it seems like. Which, which, so that's that's one other potential variable, right? If if he found out about that, if Neferpito told him, and then maybe told him that, oh yeah, I'm supposed to like you know protect her or something. Oh. But here's the other thing: he doesn't know that she was told to protect her. So what if he goes to try and like kill Kamugi, and then? Oh, nah. like no, no. Okay, nah. yeah, probably if, not. If, yeah, if, he already, he already had that. Yeah, if if, if the Chimera ants go on red alert mm-hmm. and they're like, you know, things are crazy, there's going to be at least one of them that will 
bull's like bullseye, like you know, just focus uh-huh. directly and go to the king. And I think right. that would be uh, Shia LaBeouf, sure, because he's the closest. Right. I think that UP will get intercepted, but mm. will move on his way towards like the king. Yeah. But I think Neferpito is the one that's probably going to have to choose. Right. And it's just basically a coin flip. Yeah, I'm almost because more there's worried. so many other variables that could come in uh-huh. from yep, yep. just just Netero. Like right. just Netero yeah. not knowing exactly what he's going to do changes a whole lot. Right. Of I mean the, the 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 plan is simple, but you know, how it actually will like end up going could go any way. Right. And I, I really want um Killua and Gone to stay together because I feel like Killua is going to keep gone on focus on mission and stuff. And I feel sure. like actually like if they encounter Neferpito, mm-hmm. like they could give her a solid fight. Oh yeah. Like yeah. that's the thing. Like mm-hmm. a pretty good a pretty good solid fight. Yep. But the thing is is also Neferpito has other orders now. Uh-huh. And now yeah. let's think about it this way, Jacob. Mm-hmm. Let's say Gone and Killua encounter Neferpito and they're now like fighting her and stuff sure and then she realizes uh the king is potentially in danger oh kamugi is potentially in danger i'm potentially in danger from these two boys sure what do i do right yeah what does she do who knows like Mm -hmm. literally we don't know uh, Uh enough about her to go she is definitely going to go With this, with option A, if she's presented with all three choices, mm-hmm. you know, like, yeah. will she be like, okay, I just have to kill them really quickly and then go and protect uh-huh. one of them? Will she be like, uh, oh, the king comes first no matter what? Right. I won't even try to fight these boys. Uh-huh. And Gon will be like, you're running away? Like, yeah, yeah. get back here. Don't and then Gon ends up like, Gon ends yeah. up like running into the king, like, as like he's chasing right yeah. Pizza there's or any number of horrible things that could happen yeah basically like, like oh here's there's another so thing. many variables i'm here's another thing I'm they just, could do okay let's say kamugi ends up being in danger right and mm-hmm. neferpito goes to protect her because the king isn't determined to be in danger you know whatever right. and she's like well this is what the king told me to do and i can get to the king super quick if he is in danger right yeah. and then the king's like oh this there's an attack. I want to make sure kamugi's safe so i'm going to go over to her too so then gone and kilwa are trying to basically keep yeah, you know, like they're trying to take out Nekopito, okay. right? And then the king shows up. And then that could be a way to basically tie the main character because, you know, even though it's not something that's a plot needing thing to happen, but basically of just the plan not going as they would like. Mm. And then suddenly, you know, you have a way to basically have the main character meet the main baddie. Um There are Yeah, I don't know. There there are way too many variables to even try to predict this, I feel I don't like. Know. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here. This was a really good, uh, really good episode, but it's more so a, a build up. Right. For and, a and really what happens crazy, next? Crazy, like upcoming yeah. just yep. battles, yep. just everything. So yeah, if you want to see the next two episodes reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon mm-hmm. and get an early access there. It comes with discord access. Uh, and uh, if you want to chat with us in the discord about stories or whatever, yep. or non-spoilery hunter hunter stuff right check that out may that interest you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next Next time. time